Here is my experience with one month and over 3,000 miles in my dual motor Model 3. So I guess it's best to start at the beginning. I picked up my Model 3 February 27th in Chicago and everything went great with that process. I'd heard a lot of the horror stories of people showing up to pick up and there's the car's not there or they show up and the car has a huge dent or a scratch or something. Uh, I was a little nervous because of those stories, but when I got there, there was no issues. The car was almost perfect. Um, it was what I was expecting. The only issue I had was a uh, door handle. A passenger door handle was sticking when you would open the door. It wouldn't close unless you physically pushed the handle back in. Um, but I got mobile service out to fix that uh, pretty quickly, but we'll talk about that later. Ordering the car was also very simple. I actually contacted someone through Reddit who worked at Tesla, uh, and we started emailing, and he responded you know, within seconds to every email, and he gave me some inventory cars, um, and so I actually got a test drive vehicle, which had miles on it, and I got a pretty good discount for buying an inventory vehicle. I drove it home. Took the road trip home with my buddy Aaron, went perfect, we had plenty of charge, uh, made two supercharger stops, supercharging was really easy, uh, it was actually free on my first day, um, which I didn't realize, but I didn't pay for any fuel to get home from Chicago. So the road trip home with Aaron was awesome, we got to use autopilot for a lot of the journey. I don't think we had any issues, I think it worked perfectly the whole time from what I remember. Um, he drove some of the way he wanted to. He's kind of like, please let me drive, which of course, like if, if he wants to, I want to kind of let other people try out the car. Um, and then I drove most of the way. We had no range issues. Um, we just enjoyed it. You know, we stopped to eat. The car was done charging before we were even done eating. Um, we had one uh, stop after that, that was 15 minutes of charging. And I got home with, you know, over 70 miles left. Range on the car hasn't been an issue at all, so the advertised 310 miles of range, I'm not getting that so far uh, due to the cold weather, um, but the amount of range I am getting, I haven't had a single day where I've even had to think about uh, what I'm going to do to get some more range. So as far as efficiency, um, it's been pretty cold here in Michigan uh, up until now. We've had a few 50 degree, 60 degree days. And the efficiency is starting to rise with that. But on the colder days, when it's closer to 30 Fahrenheit, the efficiency is pretty low. Uh, my average since buying the car, uh, my average watt hours per mile is 317, which is dropping. Uh, it was closer to 350 a few weeks ago, and now it's steadily going down as the temperature increases. I've used a little over 1,000 kilowatt hours since I've got the car. Um, and so I think I've spent in that month... A little over fifty dollars uh, for electricity, um, somewhere around there. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll put a couple charts up. You can see um, the first one. It's pretty funny. You see a huge peak in my energy usage uh, right at 7 p.m. So I have a time of day rate with my electric company. So between 7 p.m. and 11 a.m. it's the cheaper rate, and then 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. is the more expensive rate. So I only charge at those times. Also, the entire weekend is. Uh, the cheaper rate so I can charge whenever I want on the weekend um, but I'm saving about a hundred dollars a month over gas and I was driving uh, you know Ford Focus so I wasn't I, I already had a fuel efficient vehicle so it's it's pretty nice to save that money so I've given test drives to pretty much everyone I know I mean everyone that knows I got the car has kind of come up to me and requested a ride you know asking all kinds of questions they don't know about it uh, my boss, I took him for a ride, and he was surprised that the Model S wasn't gas-powered, he thought, because it was so big. He was, like, thinking the Model S was gas-powered, so he was surprised to learn that that's a fully electric car. Um, so being in Metro Detroit, I know a lot of people that work for the big three, they were mostly skeptical, but after giving them rides, they all loved it. Uh, Pretty much, I've had one person so far say, yeah, I'm not sure it's for me, but it's it's not bad. Everybody else was excited, you know, joking about buying one or wanting one or whatever. So it's been fun. It's been fun to show show everybody. So the door handles. So 
I think I have some footage of this. The uh, back passenger door handle was sticking. So you'd open the door, you know, you pull it out, and then it would just stay there. It would stay pulled out. You'd have to physically push it back in or the door wouldn't shut. And, and when I saw this at pickup, you know, I kind of mentioned it to the guy and it was weird. He gave me some excuses like, oh, it's cold out or it didn't get used much. So that's why. And I was like, no, 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 that's not supposed to be that way. So he told me that he'll send the mobile service out. I schedule it through my app. Um, but it was really easy to schedule the mobile service. The experience was great. Uh, so they came to my work and he asked if I had trouble with any of the other door handles. And I said, well, you know, the passenger one in the front a few times has, has stuck, um, but not really. Uh, my driver side hasn't at all. And he goes, well, you know, since you've had problems with multiple door handles, we're just going to replace them all. I said, oh, that's great. I mean, I'd really appreciate that. And so he replaced them all, came to my work. It took him about three hours to do. Um, and... Now the door handles are great. They're all actually, they retract into the car faster than they did before. So that's nice. And they all work perfectly. I haven't had any issues since. So that was fine. I mean, of course, it'd be nice to just pick up a car with no issues, but seeing how quickly and easily it was fixed, I it was like not a big deal. So I've gotten one software update since uh, receiving the car. There's, I'm on uh, 2019 5.15. I have a video about that. Um... And that was pretty interesting because it added features. I mean, you know, you get the car and a few weeks later, it has new things that it didn't have before. So, you know, like dog mode and sentry mode. And now the uh, now the dash cam records not just the front, but also the side cameras. So it's really interesting to kind of get new things on your car that, you know, you didn't have to take it anywhere. It just kind of appeared overnight. Um, so I'm waiting for uh, the new update 8.3 or 8.4. When the mobile service was out, I asked about it. And he said, no, for your VIN range, you're on the latest one. And, you know, I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping he could push me to the actual latest one. But he said, it depends on your VIN. It'll come eventually. So um, we'll see, you know, whenever that comes. So the car has been a blast to drive. Uh, I, I've wanted the car for a long time. And I tried to kind of contain my expectations because, you know, you don't want to build this up into something it can't be and get let down. But it's it's really lived up to what I was expecting. I've had no issues. Uh, it's been fun. It's been safe. Uh, it's worked really well. Autopilot has been great. Sometimes, you know, it'll get confused maybe if a, a new lane opens up or the lines are are not really there. But beyond that, it's it's been perfect. I haven't had any scary situations. Autopilot has worked very well. There's never been a time where Autopilot does something and it kind of scares me. It's just a little like, oh, that was weird. Why are you doing that? I, I'll just take over, you know, kind of things like that. So Autopilot has been awesome. It makes my commute to work great. I take the highway for about 25 miles each way. And it's just so relaxing to just kind of sit back and watch the car do its thing. 3,000 miles is a lot for a month. It's actually a little more than that. Um, now, of course, some of those miles were from the road trip from Chicago to Detroit. Um, but in that time, I definitely have, you know, little dings and scuffs just from like rock chips on the on the front of the car. So I've, I've thought about getting like the PPF, the paint protection film or ceramic coating. It's just, in my opinion, it's too expensive. It's, it's not worth it. I got one quote for the whole car that was five grand for the PPF and 1200 for just the front. So like the hood and the front bumper, it's just too much. It's in my opinion, it's not worth it. Uh, and then the added convenience of just getting home and plugging in and every morning you have 80 or 90%, whatever you need. I haven't been to a gas station in the last month, I think I've been to one, uh, with Stephanie in her car. Um, and, and it's nice, you know, you do save a little time there, you know, you save five or 10 minutes twice a week having to go to that place and, and everything. You just get home or get to work or wherever you need to be. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the first month has been great. I'm really loving the car. It's worth every penny in my opinion. Um, I've had no issues so far. The door handles uh, are the exception, which were fixed quickly. Uh, and effortlessly, you know, they came to me. So that was great. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.